Let's get started on the geology diagram notes. <clears throat> For these notes, it's helpful to have some colors with you. Some warm colors like red or orange, some cool colors like blue would be helpful. You can use crayons, you can use colored pencils, you can use markers, you can use highlighters, like a pink highlighter instead of a red pencil, you can use that instead. So there's some basic geology that you need to know in AP Environmental Science. So first we're going to start with the layers of the earth. And so we have in the very middle of the earth, we have the inner core and we have the outer core. So I'm just going to put that here. Um, this is the inner core and this is the outer core. And I'm just writing core and outer core. We don't talk that much about the inner core and outer core in, in environmental science. Mostly we're concerned about this next part here, which is the mantle. So this is where there is magma, so hot molten rock is in this part here. And at the very top of the mantle is the asthenosphere. And it is here where the magma swirls. Um, and so the <clears throat> magma will move in a circular direction through something called convection. So let's take a look at that in just a second. So first let's go ahead and label our top part here where we are is the crust of the earth. And um, part of the crust is the lithosphere. Um, so in our class, we're not that concerned about the difference between the crust and the lithosphere. Um, we sort of use them interchangeably. That's not completely accurate, but in our class, you don't have to know the minor differences between those two. All right, let's talk about convection. So convection is something that can occur in uh, substances. So it, it occurs in air. And when we study atmosphere, we'll learn about convection currents in air. It occurs in water, which makes a difference when we talk about ocean currents. It also occurs in magma. So at the top here, we have the lithosphere. And so this is just under the lithosphere. And so what happens in the magma is that your warmer magma rises and it starts to cool off. And so I'm gonna do a little orange to show it's cooling a little bit. And as it is dropping, it is cooling off. So that should be orange. And it's gonna cool off. And then as it gets closer to the bottom, it's gonna to start to warm up and it will rise. So hotter substances rise, cooler substances fall and this is called convection. So <clears throat> convection, circulation. Now we can also call this convection currents. And in the mantle, in the upper mantle, which is the asthenosphere, in a slow creeping motion. So this is not happening very fast at all. As it's doing it, it breaks the plates and moves them. So the Earth's crust is divided into plates. So if we have the Earth and um, we have these plates that divide the Earth and I'm trying to think of where the plates are over in the earth. This would be North America, South America. And I know one that the plate boundary goes through California here. That's one of them. And we'll look at some other plate features in a little bit. But the earth's crust, the whole earth is divided into these sections called plates.
Okay. <clears throat> so this process moves the plates and this is how it happens. You can pause the video if you're not quite done writing, but I'm gonna turn it like this. So this is all gonna be hot. So it's not like it's hot magma and cool magma because cool magma is an oxymoron. It's all hot. This is a molten layer. The crust is solid. The mantle, the asthenosphere is the top of the mantle. It is liquid and then the core is solid. So it goes solid, liquid, solid. And what happens is that it goes in this circular motion. So it rises and it falls in a circular motion. And the one next to it's gonna go in the opposite direction. And so what happens is that this magma pulls the crust that way and this one pulls the crust that way. And this is how the plates move. So over here, this is warmer. It's not, there, it's all magma, and so it's all hot, but the hotter magma, the warmer magma rises, and the cooler magma falls. It's not really cold. So I draw it as blue to show you that it's cooler, but it's really all magma and it's hot, which is why I drew these as as red. All right, let's take a look at the cross section of the earth here. So if we label some of these parts, um, here we have a separation between the lithosphere and the crust. Again, in our class, you don't have to know the order of that. Um, we, we kind of use them interchangeably, but that's technically the way it is. Um, this happens to be oceanic crust. And oceanic crust is made mainly of basalt. So that's a type of rock, basalt. And over here, we would have um, continental crust. And this would be made out of granite. So basalt is more dense than granite. So I'm gonna show little fishes over here to show that this is actually underwater. And so I'm gonna put my blue in here. The colors help your brain process this information a little bit better here. And so over here, the top of the Mantle, this is mantle, and so the top of the mantle is the asthenosphere. And so <clears throat> if we had this plate boundary, and whenever we have oceanic crust uh, against continental crust, it usually the, um, the convection currents are kind of colliding. So one's going this way, and one's going this way in the asthenosphere, and it's all hot down here. But in our convection currents, it's going like this. And so <clears throat> we'll talk about what happens with this on the next page. And so this would be a plate boundary right here. So the connection between oceanic plate crust and continental plate crust would be a plate boundary. And the movement of the magma is causing those plates to push against each other. And most of the time they get stuck. It is a very slow process. So we can see up here, that's a slow creeping motion. So this is moving extremely slow but they are pushing against each other and they build up pressure, 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 pressure. And when they finally release, you have an earthquake. All right, so that is the first page of your geology diagram notes. The next video will have the next page where we talk about the different types of plate boundaries.
have one last thing to add here. And let's talk about the core. The core is radioactive and hot. And this heat from the radioactive core, it drives convection. And that's it for this page.